Hi, welcome. This is the energy for today, January 24th. I hope you're doing well. Spirit, what is the energy for today, January 24th? So let's see, you have career transition. Um, so you might be pulled towards a new career, or, um, maybe something you've been trying to uh, um, move towards. And this could be the perfect timing, really. Um, and then crystal clear um, intention. So this is really where things that might have been foggy, you know, things that you weren't too sure about, which really helped you or, or held you from really deciding something. I feel like that is being lifted. Um, and then compassion. This could be compassion to to yourself, to others. Um, definitely the sense of maybe other people being compassionate to other people. And then you have patience. So this is really, um, you know, waiting for your dreams to come true, really staying focused on what it is that you're trying to achieve or accomplish. Um, there's really this kind of feeling of just knowing, uh, meaning like knowing, maybe keeping up the faith and knowing that, you know, whatever, whatever struggles you've had, you're going to, you're going to be okay. What's at the top of the deck is hello from heaven. So this is just letting you know that, you know, you, you have the, the backing of your, the universe, God, even, um, like, uh, people who have passed away, um, this is really being blessed and you're being sort of guided. Okay. And then you have the angel of therapy. So this is just about, um, you know, not giving in to maybe, um, bad moods or I feel it's almost as if things that weigh you down and it keeps you down, um, you know, things that burdens, things that you're not supposed to really hold on to for such a long time. So maybe this is where you're getting that clarity to move forward from something that maybe you couldn't wanted to you. It's like you wanted to move from it, but you couldn't. Okay. So that's awesome. If you're going through like a transition as far as uh, just being very clear, perhaps, perhaps with this career change, um, this is the time to really dot the I's and cross the T's as far as what your intentions are and what your plan is to go forward. Okay, so let's see what these mean for you. Um, career transition, please. Career transition. Maybe this is also, um, you know, if you're coming out of like Main Street, like, you know, corporations and, uh, you know, just, um, what what is it? Um, uh, like, just things that you've worked for other people. This might be you coming out and working independently and doing the things that drive you perhaps helping others as well so it's a feeling of um maybe like metaphysics like um uh, you know spiritual work you know that kind of stuff so you have the ten of pentacles the page of pentacles and the fool so it's like whatever you've been trying to form in your head whatever this idea is with the Ten of Pentacles, it's going to take you to a place of success. It's going to take you to this place where you can just maybe expand. Maybe this is you expanding a business as well for some of you. Um, and the Page of Pentacles is really telling you follow that intuition. Uh, this is a chance to start new. You, you've built your way up enough to maybe take that leap of faith and start over. Maybe you've lost, you know, work. If you've lost work, this is a message of you're going to be able to go forward and find new work. Something that can give you a better, um, they say benefits, better um, income, just a lot of success. And so taking that leap of the faith with the fool, it's, you know, don't get stuck in those places that are not allowing you to grow. Take that leap of faith. Don't have fear. Um, what is the Ten of Pentacles, please? Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. What is the Ten of Pentacles, please? Okay, so you have the Seven of Pentacles, the Hierophant, and the Five of Pentacles. So that's where I feel that loss. Maybe you're 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 a little scared to move forward. Um, maybe scared to grow something. You know, to start maybe taking control in something, and then 
you have this feeling of, oh, I'm going to lose it. Or maybe I'm not going to do it right. Or it's not going to be successful, you know. So those kind of things might be deterring you from moving forward with a new career. Or maybe this is even going back to school to learn a new career if you're not so sure that you can just do it, you know. Maybe getting educated in a whole new field. What is the Page of Pentacles? So that could be a message coming in, maybe an offer. I feel an offer to maybe a school or something different. Um, what is the Page of Pentacles, please? The Page of Pentacles. Okay, so you have, um, you have the Page of Swords. You see, information, learning, and then you have the King of Cups. So maybe that is a spiritual um, job, you know? Uh, maybe, you know, having something to do with, um, you know, a healing, maybe a therapeutics, um, guidance, something like that. But um, I do feel like there's a sense of maybe helping. Maybe this is you doing some research on that metaphysical um, kind of level of maybe spirituality, um, psychic abilities also with the King of, of uh, Cups. So this is maybe something that you've been sort of wanting to put your foot out. I feel like that's what's what you're trying to go towards, okay? You might feel a little, mm, with the fool, it's almost that feeling of um, uncertainty. Excited to move forward, but just uncertain, okay? What is the fool, please? The fool. Okay, so you have the magician and the two of swords. So... Don't let your fear um, push you to the way of not doing things. With the Two of Swords, this is definitely that sense of deciding that you're going to do it and starting over. You definitely have manifested this. Um, I do feel with the Magician, this is you taking charge and moving towards this new thing. Choosing that new beginning. Okay? So, maybe this is something different for you than you have ever done before so it's got that that feeling of uneasiness and not knowing how to go about it okay so the the page of swords it's really telling you be that um that researcher do all your research um take due do, do dilig diligence and really do the work for yourself to figure out what it is that you're 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 wanting to do because either you're stuck in this dead-end job that is just not doing anything for you um, or maybe you've lost a job and maybe this is the opportunity to start going towards a new direction, okay? Uh, whether it's a different career, maybe it is going back to school for some of you and learning a new field, um, even just maybe researching how you can, I think it's for some of you starting your own business, uh, doing your own thing, okay? And so you got the Two of Swords. I definitely do feel with the Two of Swords, there's some kind of clarity that comes with this choice. With the Two of Swords, I feel it is a choice that you must make, okay? What is the crystal clear intentions, please? Crystal clear intentions. Crystal clear intentions. What does that mean? The crystal clear intentions. So, Three of Swords. So whatever it is that has kept you in a sense of either fear or separation from just being able to think clearly, maybe it's a separation from a person, um, there's something clearing up. I feel like it's a clearing up of maybe a misunderstanding or maybe this is just you that has been in that rut for such a long time, you're starting to sort of crawl your way out of out of like a dark um a dark hole some something having to do with three of swords i mean i feel like it's sabotage i feel like it's something that has pained you so much um and it, it that pain hasn't allowed you to move forward um what is the three of swords what's the three of swords three of swords for some of you um for some of you it's almost that you've had a loss I think you've had a loss of, of a person, um, maybe a death of somebody, um, and it's happened a while ago, um, but it's it sort of, you weren't able to 
get over that death. And this death happened a while ago. Um, how many years? Um, gosh, it's happened maybe four or five years ago. Maybe four, going on four years. Um, maybe five, okay? And it's something that just sort of just stuck by you, okay? So this is definitely that sense with the Knight of Wands. You've got to take your action, come back to life, and move in a different direction. And perhaps maybe you've been living in a fog, you know, not being able to think clearly, maybe really suppressing your emotion, um, something like that, okay? If that isn't an actual death, it's just that somebody has betrayed you so much that I don't think you trust anything. I don't think you can trust anything. What is the Three of Swords? Three of Swords, please. Three of Swords. Are you waiting for someone to help you? Three of Swords. Um, the Three of Swords. Okay, so you have the Queen of Swords and the Strength card. So maybe this is seeking professional help with, um, you know, a counselor or a therapist or something like that that has helped you maybe come out of that um, depressive state. There's a sense of depression with the Three of Swords today. Um, is it something that, you know, you've gotten help from? Maybe this is clearing up your senses. It's clearing up your intentions. Maybe gave you that sense of courage and strength to move forward from something. Okay. What is the Knight of Wands? Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands. What is the Knight of Wands? Uh, the Moon. So whatever those things that you were fearful of, um, I feel like this is where you take action against them. And really put them down instead of letting that energy put you down. You go forward with it, okay, without fear. Um, you have the star as well and the judgment. So three majors right here. Um, and you have four with the with the strength. But for the king of wands, it's it's really this kind of energy of uh, do you let go of that conflict, that fight, that sort of bad way of thinking about yourself or maybe just distrusting people it's it's almost got this uh feeling of just your stomach not not feeling right you know something that's made you sick um but there's really that sense of letting that go and really healing from it with the star card um let's see what is the moon what is the moon please the judgment it's really releasing that so you can start over you got to take charge and do that though so the the moon is that ten of nine of swords worry fear exactly what i felt it's it's um i think it's just not knowing what's going to happen that's got some of you twisted um so maybe this is where you need to let go of a little bit of control and let's let things happen naturally if that's not the case it definitely could be that you're you're scared of change you're scared Maybe you're scared of failure, you know, um, failing again, maybe. Okay. Um, what is the star card? What's the star card? What is the star card? Okay. So the five of wands healing any kind of, um, this is really where you heal and you dig deep and you let go of any conflict. Are you surrendering to things that have happened to you that you've lingered on? like that have lingered on you like attached the, their negativity to yourself um are you at this point where maybe you're in competition to come out on top uh, maybe you have competitors um i do see you getting the upper hand with the star uh, maybe getting no uh, recognized or famous in this situation um what i see it as is coming out on coming up on top okay um what is the judgment what is the judgment please the judgment what does the judgment be, mean what is the judgment okay so you have the seven of wands and the ten of wands so that's the release that's the release of that three of swords is it you protecting yourself putting up a boundary against negativity is this where you just been sort of searching for the way out and you're so banged up 
so tired, but it's going to change because it is a 10. It's really about putting those burdens down. Have you been carrying a lot of burden for other people and not really paying attention to you? So this is really where you have to um, take a look and um, look at your surroundings, look at the situation, and who is it benefiting? Is it benefiting you or someone else? Because the Seven of Wands is you sticking up for yourself, uh, sticking up for yourself against those burdens. Maybe this these are burdens that other people have placed on you and you just don't know how to let go of them. Um, so it keeps you numb, numb to really the, the ideas or the things that you want to do because some, something's holding you back, whether it's a place, a situation, just doing a lot of different things for different people, um, overextending yourself is what I see, but there's a fear of, of putting that to rest. How do I put that to rest? Maybe this is something that you've done for a long time as far as uh, doing things for others and being that support system, but no one has been a support system for you. Um, so I think that you're coming to the conclusion of maybe cleaning house, you know, Wh who is truthful for you? Who is, who is giving you the courage and strength? Um, <clears throat> with the queen of swords and the strength card, what is the queen of swords, please? Queen of swords. What is it? So the Ten of Swords. So it, this is a person that maybe you're having an indication that, oh my God, this is I'm stagnant in this situation. I need to go. Look at that. You got the Six of Swords, the Five of Swords, and the Death card. Oh my goodness. So I really do see you needing to choose something that is more authentic for you. Um... Those are some really sticky situations here. Maybe the, with the the Queen of Swords and the Strength card, it came out. It's almost as if you have to sort of stand up against that abrasive uh, situation, whether it's a person, place, or thing. With the Queen of Swords, it's like you have to sort of come, maybe come to terms and walk away from that. Let, leave some kind of stagnant situation there. Allow for the death transformation to happen. Um... You know, and, and with the death card, it's great because this is, it cuts out all the stuff you don't want, the, the stuff that you don't need anymore. And it gives you a sense of transition. It's not like, um, it's not like, um, it, it's not infinite, you know, um, meaning the choices that you have made in the past, they shouldn't be if, infinite because they continue to change all the time. Um, I feel like things are changing very fast for you and maybe you're having a hard time going through the change, whatever that might be, because you might be holding on perhaps to the old, the old standards or the old way of doing something. Okay. Um, but I definitely do feel whatever this is, you're clearing up, you're, you're getting, you're getting positive reinforcement that is coming from your intentions, from your, from your guidance, your your higher consciousness, okay? Um, I want to know what is compassion? Compassion. What is compassion, please, for the viewer? This could be for you. This could be for others. Um, really, really showing, you know, something better. So, something better coming for you. You have the Ace of Pentacles and you had the, the Tower in reverse. So... If something was done wrong to you, okay, with the tower in reverse, there's definitely something that was wrong done, done, um, done to you. Meaning, you trust the situation. Once being in the situation, you probably realize, holy crap, that is not for me. Something's wrong here, you know? It's almost that recognizing that, oh, man, I put my eggs in one basket, and the basket was the wrong basket, you know? So maybe you've been duped out of something. Um, and that's why there's a sense of loss here. With the career change, there's a sense of, my God, if I do that again, will it still happen? Will I still be successful? Um, it's, it's sort of something that has to happen for you. And you should really be able to take the plunge and try something new now. Because I definitely do feel like that, that karmic cycle is, is really moving past you. So that you can start something new. With the Ace of Pentacles, okay? 
Um, I do feel like with the tower in reverse, something that's been controlling you, there's a sense of freedom. There's a sense of you gaining a freedom, um, maybe in your body, maybe in your mind, maybe both at the same time. Um, and I definitely do feel like there's a sense of, um, something that was very false. It, it, it's sort of waking up to the truth and it allows that false thing to go away. Okay. Um, for some of you, it's saying maybe you were wrongly accused and even served time. You know, um, that's what they're saying. Maybe this is somebody who has done, paid for something that they they didn't do, you know. And that's really messed up your life. I get it. For some of you, not all of you. It's not going to fit with everybody. Um, you also have the Page of Cups and the six of pentacles so this is the new beginning this is where you let go of all those things that have happened that were bad and you allow the new to come in start off fresh um really don't be scared to be emotional if this is a relationship for you that has gone wrong and somehow you've been betrayed especially with the three of swords um this is your your chance to get something that is honest that is balanced that is reciprocated that is um uh, balance it's just harmony it feels like harmony so you could have a new chance at that okay and it's compassion maybe this is also forgiving those that betrayed you and did some dirty stuff to you um if not this is you moving forward from it and not lingering it and lingering in lingering in it anymore there you go sorry um, patriot, pay, uh, not patriot. <laughs> I don't know why I say patriot. It's weird. A uh, patience, because I mean, I'm looking at patience. A uh, patience, please. What does that mean? So four of pentacles. Um, this is really holding out for that success, holding on for that very last moment, and then all of a sudden something changes and it starts blossoming for you, and it's going to come with patience. What's the four of pentacles, please? The four of pentacles. Four of pentacles, please. What does that mean? Wow, two of cups. Whatever you've been waiting for. Remember what I said with the four of wands, a uh, four of pentacles. It's something you've been holding up for for that very last minute. Maybe that's what that is. You're holding on for that chance to be in that right partnership. Maybe meeting that new person. Maybe just coming together with somebody that you already know. Um, you got the temperance here. Oh wow, temperance, the lovers, and the high priestess so um and then the page of wands and the five of cups so uh, this is all something that you've been very patient with this is something that because you're letting things happen naturally good things will come out of it okay perhaps this is somebody exposing truth to you meaning all the lies and all the secrets that they haven't quite let you know about i feel like this person is coming clean I do feel like there's a choice here, especially with lovers. Is this a choice uh, where you're you're choosing to do the thing that you love or is this choosing a person that you love, okay? So I do feel whatever it is that you've been waiting for and having patience with, I feel it's going to come in for you. Uh, maybe this is a feeling of knowing or maybe this is a feeling of surprise with the, with the high priestess. Maybe some things are happening for you. In a surprise element, okay? What is the Five of Cups? Five of Cups. I feel whoever this Five of Cups is, they might still be thinking a little bit of the past, you know, the past regret or the past pain. Um, but baby steps forward, they're being able to break free from looking back. Um, in other words, this is somebody who's done the work to maybe let go of, um, you know, regrets and things that they did wrong. Okay, and this is coming out of somebody like with compassion. I think that for some of you, it's forgiving yourself with that five of cups. Okay, um, let's see here. What is the page of wands? What's the page of wands? Page of wands, please. What is the page of wands? So ten of cups. Messages of happiness, guys. Happy messages. Um, maybe it's about this ten of cup coming together with somebody. To, we saw the two of cups there so maybe this is a new relationship for you if it's not a new relationship there's that ace of cups at the bottom 
and then at the top the eight of swords so some kind of tricky situations trying to fall off um yeah if it's not love it, it definitely could be career so you have to take it as it resonates for you um i want to know what is the conclusion of this story please what's the conclusion of this story what is this conclusion okay oh the magician very good is starting all over um having the backing of the universe in other words feeling free and clear to move over and implement your plan whatever this plan is okay whether it's coming towards a lover maybe being able to expose some kind of secrets to someone or whether it's that that sense of starting over a whole new career wherever it, this magician is pulling you to wherever you want to manifest um what else what else please what else nine of cups wish fulfillment being happy having an uh having enough you know being abundant the four of pentacles speaks about a gain it also speaks about holding on for the right moment which is the same thing i got there with the four of pentacles over here so something that you've been holding on to that you couldn't move past it's gonna go away quickly okay to allow the new to come in you got the queen of pentacles that is success that is definitely home um maybe even becoming like a mother maybe some of you are planning to be a mother um yeah and then this one right here the five of cups so the, there's really this sense of um you know letting go of those regrets letting go of the past situations having compassion for yourself perhaps okay uh, let's see yeah they said motherhood with this maybe you're planning on having a baby maybe you're becoming a mother maybe you're just feeling like this all abundant person um you know things are going on the flip side for you okay so let's see here i want to know what is the insight for today what's the insight for today uh so you have this one it says live your truth your truth is unique to your life and experiences. Don't live the truth of another, but find your deep, authentic truth and live it fully. That's what chances... Oh, I'm sorry. That's what changes the world. So there's many changes happening in the world, whether you see it or not. Uh, there's a lot of powerful changes trying to take charge and change and they will happen for sure i definitely do feel they will um what is the mermaid message for them the mermaid message mermaid message please okay so you have uh the dive deep maybe you're looking for something 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 you need to research um maybe this is you trying to figure out how you can make money on a new project um so just dig deep okay follow your intuition uh what else please what is the message that they need to see mermaid message okay so you have um contemplation really thinking about something um and then acceptance and so you do have to accept those harsh things that have happened in your life in order to move past them okay and patience having patience you have patience here and you have patience here so something you want to happen and i i do feel it's going to come for you okay whatever that is whatever that situation is i do feel it's going to come to you but you have to have patience and so go about it happily meaning the time that you're waiting be happy about it yeah that's the best advice i can give you just try to stay happy about it so that it can draw in that good thing that you're trying to draw in okay um let's see here let's do this one right here uh i want to know what is the angel message for today okay recovery i feel like that one came out yesterday too some of you guys are recovering from something whether it's sickness or just that state of being foggy and you couldn't decide anything for yourself 
angel message, please? What other angel message? An angel message, please. Nothing wants to come out. You're on the road to recovery is what they're saying. So, yeah, that's not a bad thing, really. That's really um, being able to pick yourself up and keep going. Um, I want to know, what is the chakra message that they need to hear? The chakra message, please. What do they need to hear? The chakra message. Mm. Chakra message, please. Okay, so you have um, this one right here, and it's uh, about elevating yourself. That gives you a sense of support. Maybe even elevating others and supporting them. Um, helping and being generous, okay? And then this one right here, it says, uh, release the mama earth, the root chakra. So really meditating, lining up your chakras, opening up your energy to be clear, being grounded um, to mother earth. And that will bring a sense of love in for you if you're looking for love, okay? Uh, let's do let's do this one right here. Okay, to close off, I want to do the archetype. What is the archetype message for them today? What is the message for today, please? What is the message? Archetype. They're heavy cards, guys. They're really I like these cards, but they're very heavy. <laughs> and my hands are pretty small anyway. So the pilgrim, I feel like this is starting new without looking at the book. It just seems like, you know, you have, you have the power to really move yourself to a new journey, um, really reinventing yourself. I, I do feel it's a sense of, um, this new awakening, this new dawn that is awakening on us. Okay. A new pilgrim, um, definitely is where you're being pulled toward that new, a new job or something like that but i'm gonna get the book i'll be right back okay so i don't feel i'm that far off but um the the first little paragraph it says um this is going out on a on a new journey definitely it's a new journey for you but the archetype wanderer seeks wisdom experience and the meaning of the farthest reaches of the globe and the deepest uh, regions of the spirit. So it also says on here, which I really do like, it says, um, even in the stillness of meditation, the pilgrim, the pil pilgrim feels the movement of the heart toward what it loves. So this is you manifesting and creating that new and really bec becoming strong with you, your truth, okay? Um, and then I'm just going to read this little part here, too, because I like it. It says, um, we all have a deep longing to answer the call and get unstuck. What are the obstacles between you and the door? So seriously, what are the things that are holding you back from moving forward? Is the, is it that fear? Is it that you're not going to be accepted by others? Um this is you coming out of that shell and just being you, whatever that is, okay? Whether it's career, love, and just your whole self, okay? So very nice message. I do hope you like it. Thank you so much for your time. I always appreciate you guys. And just stay safe and healthy and think positive and nothing can get on you, really. Um, and I'm continuing to pray for all of us, okay, guys? Join me in that prayer. Thank you and have a great day.